Hello and welcome back, my friends. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this 3D text effect and placed an image inside of those letters. So stay tuned. All right, now I am starting with a YouTube thumbnail size and I'm going to go on over to my elements section and I'm going to place this design on my workspace. And this is candy corn. I'm now going to go on over to my apps area and I'm going to search for an app called Text Maker. So here it is here and this is what it looks like. Now, when I've been recently using it, I noticed that it has some new options and I want to use some of those options um, and show you what um, some text could look like when you're when it's in 3D. So this is the one I'm using. I'm using Ninja. And just so you know, not all of these uh, um, text effects are free. Some of them are a pro version, which you have to pay extra for, even though you have Canva Pro, unfortunately. And if we scroll down over into the effects area, we notice that there's an option for a fill, uh, which I never noticed before, but I did recently. So um, in the text, I'm going to type in trick to type in trick or treat. So, I'm, but I'm going to start with trick and I'm going to come down to filling and I'm going to go over to the image section and I'm going to enable image texture. But before I do that, I actually don't want the black background. So I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to remove the background and then I'm going to uh, enable the image texture. So I'll turn that on. And now I'm going to say use selected image. And we'll notice that that image has has kind of popped into the text and it's kind of maintaining the background color, which I kind of like. I think it's kind of cool. Um, so if we scroll down, we're going to notice that there is an option to um, customize the fill. If we uh, select the minus on the image, that makes the image smaller, or you can make it larger, or you can um, stretch the image all the way out if you like, but I'm gonna make it slightly smaller, uh, maybe like this. There's also an option to change the opacity of that image, and you can have it repeat or not repeat. Um, there's also an option for the position of the image, whether you want it top left, center, top, um, what have you. You have all these options, which is super, super cool. So I'm going to leave this image like um, this, and I'm going to add it to my design. But I'm going to create a new page, and I'll add it here. And the quality, I'm going to maintain it at medium because high and max are also pro options. So I'm just going to add that to my design like that. And I'm going to go back up and back. And I have since I have this image selected, I'm actually going to change the stops to make it a lighter color. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to make move it towards the yellow and move it down here just to make it a little bit lighter and just, you know, a different color. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring that down here to see what that looks like. And I'm actually just going to make that a little bit darker like that. All right, I'm now going to go back because I want to change the word from trick to treat. And I'm going to come down to add to design. And again, I'm going to on this page, click add to design and add it here. So here is that design here. And now I'm just going to make an or. So I'm just going to go back. I'm going to turn off the image. So I'm going to turn that off. 
That way we don't have that image. And I'm going to go back to filling and I'm going to come down to customize colors and I'm going to just change the fill colors to something uh, to something else. So I'm just going to click on the first one and we can see as we're changing the colors what it's going to look like. So change it to right about there kind of to match uh, this one down here and I'm going to click on this one on the bottom and I'm going to try and match it up with this one up here a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not looking for perfection. And I'm now going to go to the middle one and kind of um, make it a neutral. Color like that. And so let's go back in there. I'm sorry, but I want to change this. Now, before we go back to change the text, I want to just bring your attention to the fact that we also have the option to change the outline colors and the 3D depth colors. That means the outline colors, which is this color um, around the text which right now is a kind of like a dark navy blue and the 3d color which is the that 3d color that dark color around here that white and this other grayish color here but i'm not going to do it because it's matching really really nice with my design but i just want you to take note that that option is also there to change that 3d color all right let's go back and let's change this to or and let's add this to our workspace and see what that looks like. And here we go. So that's what that looks like. And I'm just going to rotate it slightly and make it a little bit smaller like that. And now I'm going to add a shadow to or just so that we can see around it. So so I'm going to come up to edit and I'm going to go to shadows and I'm going to choose the outline effect and I'm going to make the outline white. And then I'm going to make the size a little bit larger like that. That way it looks like it's kind of cut out. Now I'm also going to come up to elements and I'm going to place a square on my workspace. And I'm going to make that square transparent, but I'm going to add a border and I'm going to change the border color to something that's kind of going to match with the um, words on my workspace. And I'm just going to make that a little bit larger like this. And I'm going to change the uh, rounding of the corners like that. And let's go back and let's change the width of the uh, border to leave it like that. And now finally, I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to bring that border to the back of my design so it's not in front. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe and turn that notification bell on. I go live every single week if you're interested in attending my live sessions that are interactive, which means you get to ask me questions about how I did something while I'm designing. Click the join button next, next to my YouTube channel name and join my YouTube channel membership any level whatsoever. If you're on mobile and you can't find that join button, just go to my YouTube channel description and you'll find a join link in there. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye bye until next time.